Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel Digitivity. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to give a halftone effect using GIMP. So watch the whole tutorial to understand it properly. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated about upcoming tutorials. One more thing, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to watch more tutorials about GIMP, the link is available in the i button as well as in the description box below. Now without wasting time, let's start the tutorial. To start our project, open GIMP first and open the image which you want to turn in half tone. To do that, I am going to the file option in the top menu then click on open. Then choose the image and hit open. If you want to follow along with the same image, the download link is available in the description. Now duplicate the layer and rename the duplicated layer by double clicking on its name to halftone and now we can start working on our image. Next, go to filters from the top menu then distorts and then click on newsprint. It will open up a window. Here you can change the color model to black on white or white on black. Then come down here to the pattern. Let me zoom a little bit so you can see the patterns properly. You can always zoom in or zoom out by holding the control key on your keyboard and moving your mouse wheel back and forth. Now let's check the patterns. Here you can choose. Line. Circle. Diamond. PS square dots, which is a combination of square and circles. And the last one is crossing lines. I'll go with the circle option. Now let's set the period. Here you have to set it to a suitable size as per your image. If you make it too small it will turn white and if you increase it too much it will turn more black. Be sure to choose wisely. For the angle option, you can set it to whatever angle you like. You can set it by holding and dragging like this or you can use middle click of your mouse and click here to change the angle like this. For example, I am putting 40 here and hit enter. Or you can also use this option which is looking like a wheel. For all other options, I recommend leaving all as it is. And once we are done with these settings, hit OK. And this is the basic halftone effect. Now you can see our image is looking like a newspaper or comics image. Now let's give some coloring effect to our image. To do that, just go to colors and click on color to alpha, it will open up a window. You can see how the white dots of our halftone are interacting with the background image. Now hit OK and we are going to add a layer below our halftone image. To do that, click on the original image layer which is below the halftone layer. Then click on this option below the layers panel to add a layer. Make sure to select fill with white here and click on OK. Now, go to colors and choose any of your favorite colors for the foreground color. I am choosing the red color and also choose one color for background color. For background, I am choosing yellow.
Now grab the gradient tool from the toolbox. Click on the image around this corner and drag it all the way to the opposite corner. Now release and hit enter. Now we can export our image. To do that, go to file option and click on export as to export the image. Here you can rename the image. And you can also change the file extension by clicking here. Almost all popular file extension types are available here. For me I mostly use JPEG and PNG. This time JPEG is okay. Now I'll click on export and one more window will pop up. Here you can adjust the quality of the image as per your purpose and finally click export. This was it for today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful in any way whatsoever, be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to my channel. And if you have any questions about this video, please let me know in the comments section below. See you in the next tutorial, take care.